Let's see, lazy little dog. Hi guys, it is a gloomy morning here in the end times in paradise. Here on Tuesday morning, I believe, March 28th, 2017, here in uh, East Mumblefuck, New Mexico. So, uh, Tuesday morning is when I bring you my wacky mad scientist <coughs> roundup of the day, looking at how all of these, uh, these mad scientists are getting ready to take down the planet, especially through all of this shit with artificial intelligence and robots and drones and nanotechnology and all this shit. So uh, I'm actually going to mention, going to lead off that uh, rant here in a minute with this long, excellent story uh, from Vanity Fair magazine that just came out, written by uh, Maureen Dowd. Good old Maureen. So, uh, Maureen, good lord, this article uh, from Vanity Fair. She's interviewing everyone from Elon Musk and all, all of these nutcases. Anyway, uh, <coughs> one of the people she interviews for this article is this fella, however you pronounce, E-L-I-E-Z-E-R. Eliezer, Eliezer Udowski. Eliezer Udowski is a highly regarded 37-year-old researcher who is trying to figure out whether it is possible in practice and not in theory to point artificial intelligence in any direction, let alone a good one. And so this is what uh, Mr. Udowski had to say to Maureen Dodd. And they were talking about, uh, you might have heard of it, about this, about how to create an off switch to these out of control robots when these robots start figuring out that they don't need us anymore. Uh, there better be, you know, we need to install an off switch uh, on these killer robots where we can just, you know, if, you, if, you're, if your robot, if your little pet robot starts coming after you, that you're going to be able to lean over and flip an off switch. And uh, this is what Mr. Udowski uh, had to say about all this. <clears throat> Quote, how do you encode the goal functions of an artificial intelligence such that it has an off switch and it wants there to be an off switch and it won't try to eliminate the off switch and it will let you press the off switch. Hmm. And if it self modifies, will it self modify in such a way as to keep the off switch? We're trying to work on that. It's not easy. If you want a picture of AI gone wrong, don't imagine marching humanoid robots with glowing red eyes. Imagine tiny invisible synthetic bacteria made of diamonds with tiny onboard computers hiding inside your bloodstream and everyone else's. And then simultaneously they release one microgram of botulism toxin. Everyone just falls over dead. Only, it won't actually happen like that. It's impossible for me to predict exactly how we, meaning us clueless moron humans, would lose because the AI will be smarter than I am, or we are, when 
you are building something smarter than you, <clears throat> you have to get it right on the first try. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. You better get it right on that first try. <coughs> but anyway, this will be my segue into my, uh, my, my mad scientist uh, roundup rant. That, by the way, was the title of this article, which I'll kick off my full roundup here in a minute, was Elon Musk's billion dollar crusade to stop the AI apocalypse. But I'm going to come back uh, and start off with that article and read from about a dozen more here on this gloomy Tuesday morning in the end times as we ponder the collapse of everyone falling over dead. Bye, guys. <laughs>